When they saw Patroclus dead, so brave and strong, so young, the horses of Achilles began to weep, that in mortal nature was upset deeply by this work of death they had to look at. They reared their heads, tossed their long manes, beat the ground with their hoofs, and mourned Patroclus, seeing him lifeless, destroyed, now mere flesh only, his spirit gone, defenseless, without breath, turned back from life to the great nothingness. Zeus saw the tears of those immortal horses and felt sorry. famous in France in the 19th century, unlike the Impressionists that everyone in France ignored mm -hmm. painting. Painters you've never heard of, like Messonnier, Cabanel, Rougarou, these were the big names of French painting in the 19th century. And this was their favorite young painter, but he sadly died in the Franco-Prussian War at the age of 27. So um, that was the end of his career. His name is Henri Regnaud. And um, but I think you can see, even looking at this, what a spectacular brush. Just look at that skirt. Unbelievable. I think he was probably 25 when he did that. Yeah, really. He was, everybody said, wow, about Vigneau. But anyway, well, the, the point for this tour instead is that this is the ultimate scary movie for the 19th century. So um, what this is is the biblical princess Salome. Mm -hmm. We know the Salome story. The so what Salome, um, Salome, Salome's uh, mother, Herodias married her brother-in-law, Herod, and so the John the Baptist basically said, no, that's bad, and Herodias said, oh, cut off his head, and, um, but Herod said, oh, you know, he's a wise man, I don't want to cut off his head, but Herod, of course, is sleaze, and what he really wants is to have his stepdaughter dance for him, so then he makes his mistake, and his mistake is that he says to her, that if she'll dance for him, he'll give her anything she wants. What does she want for John the Baptist's head? Now, the 19th century was obsessed with Salome. She's everywhere. Uh, we have Oscar Wilde's play about her. We have uh, Strauss's and Hoffman's opera. Um, I, I'm doing this in the wrong order. Really, Moreau's paintings are where it starts. But uh, Moe's paintings of Salome, uh, which inspire Wilde, which inspire Strauss, they're all just obsessed. And I think it clearly has to do with the rising status of women. And women are just, they seem mysterious and frightening. Um, and Salome catches that whole thing. And this Salome has it all. She's exotic. You can see the, the, that silky skirt. Um, but she's also, she's got this frizzy hair. It's not very French. She could be a gypsy. Or Italian, or even Jewish. That would be scary. It doesn't translate to the 21st century New York. But um, <laughs> she, um, and she has this swarthy skin. She's just generally very non-French looking. 
Um, and of course, she's making these sexy gestures. She has this kind of fiddle dee dee thing with her hand. And then the, this, this kicky thing with your slippers is very much what sexy ladies do in paintings. So. <laughs>